I've got the pleasure of being here at Mamawe Tesetan School, just outside of uh, Pinoco, where we are commissioning our latest piece of public art. This piece is uh, being done by Michael Willing, who is the Vice Principal at Mamawe Tesetan School, and Ali Firingstoney, yes. and Tessa Potts. They are incredible welding students, and we've been working together to bring this project together for you and for, the, for our entire community, and also as a piece of uh, bringing both communities together. And I understand that you two ladies were responsible for the design of this, which is fabulous. Would you like to talk to us about how you came up with the concept of the, the logs and the two rows? So it was, it was kind of a long process because at first we had to sketch it out onto paper. Mm -hmm. So getting, trying to get like the details from the original picture onto the sketch so we had a main idea of what we were making was kind of a, it was quite a struggle. But we got it. Got it, you did, <laughs> um, yeah. Put in like our own ideas, I guess you could say, mixed in with his to combine it to what it is now. The idea was is that another bird would be coming into land on the log. Uh, these are shark tail grouse or representations of shark tail grouse. Uh, shark tail grouse have a communal area that's called a lek. Um, these logs, uh, aside from the fact that we're trying to bring it up and, and, and allow people to see it, uh, is is their lack is their area for uh, for a communal gathering uh, for for their sense of community? So Can you tell us a bit about the process, perhaps, or give our viewers a bit more information about this piece? Yeah, so uh, you know the process of sculpting with metal uh, can be taken from a whole bunch of different perspectives. Uh, the one that we're choosing to use is is a very additive approach. We'll we'll add pieces, then we'll grind back to where we think we need to be, then we'll add pieces, and then grind back to where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Add pieces, grind back to where we need to be. So it's very it's very additive. It's very um, uh, it's very hands on. Every time we add something, we always step back. How does that look? If it doesn't look good, then we move it, we cut it off, we change it. We we really we really work with it. In the and for people who aren't aware of the grouse in Alberta, they were a mainstay uh, source of food for our settlers people and our indigenous populations, particularly when the buffalo were almost um, taken to extinction. I remember as a little girl seeing them on our farm and, and hearing the rough grouse as well, you know, doing their little thumping thumping and then when I would go out into the fields just when the snow was melting, you could see their dance patterns in the snow, which was wonderful. It was really cool. So to be able to bring these birds back into Lacombe through these, this sculpture is incredible. 